I don't know if you can see it, but this is it right here what my finger is touching. That's the exhaust, the air exhaust for the belt box. Look how low that is. Look where it's sitting. I mean, look at the height of it. It's basically at the same height as the O2 sensor. So any dirt and mud that you get in that's that deep, or if you're going down trailers, dust flying, it's all going to be going through into that pipe and back into your air box. Okay, so here's the pipe out now. On That's the outside of it. Now let's take a look down inside. Look at all the dust. Look at all the dirt that's in there. That's going into your belt box. Okay, so if you watched the video, Water, Water Everywhere, that's where we ran the tubing from the rear differential on up and the front differential on up to get it up out of the water to be safe. We also did some greasing of some of the lower contacts. Well, this is the next stage. And once again, this isn't necessarily just for deep mudding. If you do trail riding where it's really dusty, this is gonna help you. What are we gonna do? We're not gonna do a full snorkel on this bike. We are going to do a stealth style snorkel. So back down here again, here is our CVT, our transmission box. And you'll see right there where my finger is. Let's see if we can get some light in there. That's the opening for the vent. And it simply came back along here, went back to the back wheels and allowed the back wheels to throw dust and dirt all up in it. We are going to take and move that. We're gonna leave that, but we're gonna move where it goes. And instead of running it back here, we're gonna run it across up the other side. As I said before, this is the intake. We're gonna bring the exhaust right up here as well. So now what we're doing is we're keeping mud and water and dust out of the CVT box, but now we're bringing it to the depth of the snorkels, which is basically about your fuel filler inlet. So now that's how deep this machine will be good for should something go wrong. But even if something doesn't go wrong, it's gonna keep that belt box a lot cleaner for them to have the uh, air, air up here rather than down by the back wheels where it's just covering it in fricking dust all the time. So what do we need for parts? Well, this is not an expensive job, guys. It's actually really cheap. You need a length of snorkel hose. I got this at Life Outdoors in New Hamburg. You need a little bag of zip ties. This is from the factory, okay? And it's what connected to the belt box and what this tube here that we're not gonna use again went into. We need that. <coughs> Excuse me, there was two clamps on there. We need those. We need one more clamp. So that's about $2.50 for that. We need a 90 degree elbow, two inch PVC. That's about $2.50. And we need a little three inch length of uh, PVC, two inch PVC tube itself. The most expensive part about this is you need three feet of this hose and it's a whole whopping $3.50 a foot. So that's 10 bucks. So the bottom line is this whole bike is gonna be done for 20 bucks to keep the dirt out of the belt box and to raise his water level should something go wrong while he's out on the trail and he gets into some crap. Okay, so what we're gonna do is get started here in just a second. Okay, so we got uh, some pre-assembly done here. We took the rubber collar uh, put the clamp on it, put the 90 degree into there, tightened that up, took the two inch PVC tube, put a little bit of the glue on it, stuck it together. That's nice and hard now. So now we have a 90 degree. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna install that on that port right there that you see. But rather than run it back this way, we're gonna turn it 90 degrees and run it this way. So I'll get that done and then show it to you. Okay, so we got this in there now, we got it. Uh, over the hole, we got the clamp on it. We got both those clamps tight. And as you can see, it's coming out 90 degrees. And this is important because the hose from here is gonna come down in front of this. So you gotta leave this area open for the hose from here that goes to the uh, throttle body. So that just turns 90 degrees like that, okay? Now we're gonna get the flex hose. Okay, so we got the snorkel hose attached and we run it up under the frame and up beside this panel. We took the bolt out there, but we can put that back in. And we're going to run it up, and we're going to cut it off right about here. Let me show you, right there, okay? But uh, we've got that run up to there for now. And that's about as far as we're going to go at the moment. Hey, okay, as you can see, we've got the 90 degree coming out of the box. We've got the hose going over the 2-inch pipe we stuck in the 90 degree. It runs up under the frame, comes up 
like this. Zip ties, zip tie runs around the snorkel. And now the opening for this is right up here instead of way down there. So you're a lot less likely to suck in that dust and dirt and get it in your belt box. And if something goes wrong on the trail and you go deeper than you thought, you're a lot less likely to get water in the belt box because now it's sealed up to this height. So when you combine the video that we did for the tubes from the front and rear differential, along with this one for doing the exhaust from the belt box, that's called stealth snorkeling because all this is gonna go back together right now and you're not gonna see any of it. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it helps. Here it is all back together. All done, belt boxes on, sides are on, covers on, can't see a thing. Looks totally stock, but yet it'll do so much more than stock now because it's a lot safer for dirt and water.